Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond, and in this video I'm doing an unboxing of Cyber Doom Tower by Little Rocket Games. Now before I open up the box and show you the contents, I'd like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That really helps the channel. And also check out my Patreon page by clicking the link in the description below. You can support me for as little as just one euro per month or more which is greatly appreciated and in return you will get early access to all of my videos, access to some Patreon exclusive content, as well as your name in the credits. Alright, let's open up the box and see what's inside. And this is Cyber Doom Tower, a game by M. Saloni and Zemilio. Or is it M. Saloni Zemilio? I think Zemilio is a separate designer, I've seen that name before. Uh, little Rocket Games, really cool pixel art here. That is super cool. Love that. It's from the Blue Collection. There's a couple of these. There's Insert Coin to Play and One Card Dungeon as well. It's a game for ages 12 and up for one or two players, which plays in about 15 minutes. Cyber Doom Tower on all the other sides. And on the back, here we have in English and in Italian a little description of the game few examples there. So let's open this up. Okie do. So let's have a look at what we get. We get a bunch of dice. D6s. We get four white, four red, two yellow and two green ones. They're a small size, as you can see. Uh, rounded corner, so they roll well. Cute little dice. So we get those. We get a Ziploc bag with one green cube in it, which is kind of weird. They could have just put that together with the other ones. That seems like a waste of a Ziploc bag, so let me keep that. And we have two pixel characters here, a green and a blue looking dude. So we have those wooden little meeples. I'll put that in here with, the, with those. All right. Then we have a stack of cards, so let me open that up. All righty. So we have this cool mech here. Stand by. We have some uh, numbers and some symbols there. And we have some values there. And I guess you put your dice down there. And on the other side, this is the standby mode. This is the active mode, I guess. I don't know if there's any difference. But we have that, and this is a really nice thickness. This is a very thick card. It's almost credit card thickness. That's really nice. So that's a good quality card there. And all of these are of the same thickness, of course. Then we have here an antimatter grenade. All right. So we have that. We have another robot on standby and on active mode. All right, we have another item, a jetpack. And I love the pixel art in all of these, it's just really cool. This looks uh, another robot with all kinds of uh, tentacles, with arms. Standby and active. Reminds me of uh, one of the Matrix movies, actually. And then we have another item, a techno suit. Love that. I it just, I'm. I love that pixel art. <laughs> and another mech here, double-sided. So we have plenty of those. We have gun sight, scope for your gun, another robot, another item, plasma rifle, another robot. Ooh, this actually has the gray eyes and the red eyes. I didn't notice there are any differences. Oh yeah, the, the eyes don't glow here and they do here. So there is actually a small difference in, in art at least. Here's the laser cannon. And then we have these, which I don't know, are maybe bosses. Looks pretty cool. So we have those as well. So that's a pack of cards, small cards of a very good quality. We have a punch board 
with all kinds of tokens and keys. And these are double-sided. They are the same on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which side you have. These are the tokens. Then we have a pack of cards with the uh, levels, I guess, so let me open that up. All right, so we have different kinds of cards here. They have different stats. And according to the box art here, you kind of stack those on top of each other. So they go like this and you have different levels. All kinds of numbers on there. Stuff I don't understand yet. <laughs> so yeah, we have several of those. Three of these right now. And then we have the player cards mixed in between. So player one, also cool in his mech suit with the gun there. Yeah, double-sided. I don't know if there's a difference. Don't think so. Not seeing any differences at a glance. So we have a player here, then there's another level. Then that's the blue player. This is the green player. Again, double-sided. And another level. So yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five of these tower cards and two player cards. And then finally, we have the rule books in English and uh, Italian. So there we go. Yeah, so it's designed by Zamilio and Marco Saloni for one or two players. With components overview on the cover. The setup here. So here you can see the tower uses four cards. And then you have these mechs alongside. Uh, gameplay, player turn, actions, movement, keys, control panel, how to hide, loot, attack, fighting the AI, symbols on the tower cards, the abilities, description, the sentinel turns, so that's these, countdown, wind condition, equipment, there's quite a bit of rules, and that's that. All right, so yeah. Bit of rules but uh, yeah looking really fun and uh, really cool i love the artwork and a very nice compact little box and so that was my unboxing of cyber doom tower by little rocket games i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and please check out my patreon page by clicking the link in the description below or the icon at the end of this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on board game heaven